Students, teachers, and parents here in Florida, it's the last year we will deal with FCAT scores because the FCAT will be replaced with a new assessment test. Scores are out in many Central Florida school districts chartered great improvements. Michelle Meredith live at the Orange County School District office. So, Michelle, how will the new test be different? Well, school officials tell us the focus will be on critical thinking and not on memorizing facts. It was a kind of cheering you hear at football games, not meetings to talk about academic achievement. But indeed, the screams at Palmetto Elementary were all about academics. Located in an economically challenged area of Orange County, last year, Palmetto Elementary was an F school. The F CAT scores are in. The school increased their score by over 200 points and will get either an A or a B this year. It's like Christmas, only better. Because this is a gift for all of us. At today's news conference, the proud principal stood at the podium with students on each arm and tears in her eyes. What did you have to give up to, to make good grades? I had to give up a whole bunch of time to study and work. When it comes to FCAT, many school districts in Central Florida have reason to cheer. Orange County increased scores in five out of seven assessment areas. Osceola improved in all seven. Lake and Volusia improved in four out of seven. It's ironic since FCAT goes away next year when Florida and most other states transition to a new curriculum aligned with the common core standards, placing less emphasis on memorizing and more on critical thinking. The assessments will move away from uh, a lot of multiple choice questions and it will be more essay writing, more showing your formulas. The change is expected to bring controversy and confusion, but school leaders say it's necessary to keep Florida students competitive and continue to give them something to cheer about. So if you'd like to see how your school did on this, the final year of FCAT, log on to WESH.com and we've got a link for you. Live in Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.